What's up, everybody? Reaction Nation here at the Wild Devin segment. Nuke just dropped a top of uh, top five video, and it's called Five Ghost Videos." So scary they mentioned that they should ban TikTok. You know, TikTok. They should ban it. Anyway, we're gonna get into this right now because I'm excited. Let's go. Do me a favor, hit that like button below, hit that subscribe button below, hit that bell for notifications for me, and that will come to you. Let's get right into this reaction video, you guys. Let's go. See what you got, Nuke. Top five ghosts, call on camera. Brandonautica, be visited. Ah, oh, damn. You might recognize TikTok user Matt Hall from a previous video I did about Randonautica. Yeah. So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok. We found a person in the woods. It's an app that you download, and it gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to, and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that. Yep, you heard the whispering. Then he heard, then he heard um, wanna play. Holy oh no, help me, help me the first. Is there then anybody wanna play. here? Rare. Wanna play a game. Yep, let me see in this one. Yes, I think I just heard something. Now, since his terrifying encounter in the woods, Matt Hall claims that he has had a new and even more horrifying encounter at his job. The that video may have glitched a little bit right there, so I might be behind track, but... Shift, a security camera at his work it. started beeping. Now, the security camera has motion sensors and only starts beeping when someone or something disrupts the sensor. Naturally, Matt immediately went to check the camera. He was chilled to the core when he saw this. There's literally somebody outside, like, dragging a bag at my work. No, sorry, I'm just recording in case something happens. I, I can't see. Maybe I someone is dragging tra he's, Why are they running? He's literally running down to the door. He's coming up to the door right now. Why would you go to the door? Oh, my God. He's in the door. He's outside the door. Why would you go to the door? He's outside the door right now. No, there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm literally. It's just this one room. The door. Yeah, the door is locked, but. Dude, what? Was he just dragging garbage? What is it? He's like behind the building now. Doing what? Hold the camera so I, I can't see his face. Here. He's really Matt frantically calls 911 to summon the police. While on the phone with the emergency operator, the outdoor CCTV camera records a man dragging what looks like a trash bag right in front of the building's exit. Wow, dude. Matt says that the police came and searched the area surrounding the building, but they couldn't find anyone. Even more baffling, the garbage bag the man was carrying was simply stuffed full of old clothes. Uh, so what? was this encounter somehow connected to Matt's previous Randall nodding experience? Mm. Was it even real? To be continued. Or was it just a TikTok hoax? I can tell it could be a hoax. Because this is a bad user over hype 13 claims that he and his friends were randonauting when they were led to the Let's middle see, of nowhere, the police, huh? a seldomly traveled walking path in the woods in Germany. They had pretty much given up finding anything when they suddenly spotted a mysterious flower and a plaque on a tree. Okay, also, warte, warte, warte. We have a new intention. Also, we have actually ohne intention. Yeah. He has the point done. Und wir waren irgendwie so mitten im Wald. Ja, warte. Ja, das ist das. Wir sind auf jeden Fall im Radius. Wir sind auf jeden Fall im Radius. Und ähm, Memorial Tree? jetzt haben wir die Gegend abgesucht. Also es ist so ein kleiner, so kleiner Weg. Wir haben die Gegend abgesucht. Hier ist halt nichts. Hier war halt nichts. Bis wir eine Blume gesehen haben. Ich filme das mal. Hier ist, ein, hier ist halt so ein Schild. Tilo. Guter Freund, Ruhe und Frieden, das haben wir jetzt gar nicht gesehen. Oh ja. Yeah. Aber jetzt achte aufs Datum. Someone, pa someone passed away. 24.07. Welches Datum haben wir denn? Sag's mal. Wir haben einfach den fucking 24. Junge, vor ja. zwei Jahren. Wir haben, das war genau, vor genau zwei Jahren. Wir haben das fucking gleiche Datum. Ey, das so. kann doch kein Zufall sein. Als ob das genau vor zwei Jahren war. So, so, als ob hier jemand vor zwei Jahren gestorben ist. Scheiße. Reddit user Overhype13 says that after he did some extensive Google searching to find the man named Tilo, who passed away exactly two years ago on the exact spot where Antarctica sent them, well, I mean, he wasn't able to find anything. Oh, wow. Overhype13 believes so, that there is no way that Randall Nautica so had that known about the memorial sign 
that shared the same date as their exploration. This mysterious incident remains unexplained. TikTok user Tyler Vasquez says that after watching many strange videos about the Randonautica app, she simply had to try it out for herself. Why would you try it out? The app gives her a location about a mile and a half from her home. So she travels there and documents her experience. The location she is led to is a secluded creek, surrounded by woods. What happens next is downright chilling. Alright, so I think I gotta go. <gasps> this way down a creek. Uh, her, why? Alright, this one I found so far. Pretty creepy. I'm gonna see Alligators and shit? Alligators, ghosts? I just ghost? opened up one of the photos, and it's whatever the f*** that is. <laughs> Then we have these random three. This one's a it's your birthday with the snowman with I don't know. And these two I just put together. It's like Scraggly hair on a snowman. Alright, I think it was just my imagination. I think I'm just hearing but I'm trying to read these. I swear I'm friendly. Is this your imagination? But you Taylor finds creepy drawings scattered all around the rocks that look like they have been drawn by a child. Then she hears the unexplained voice of a little girl and just runs. When Taylor Vasquez posted her video to TikTok, her viewers suggested that the creepy little voice actually says, You hide and I'll find you. After many requests by her viewers, Taylor returns to the creek three days later to find out more about Dumbass. the strange drawings. So I just hiked the mile back to the random hunting spot where the flashlight has a weapon to this app? Can you see what it did to other people? I'm trying to go quick so that I don't waste too much time. The drawings are creepy as f***. I feel like I should just grab them all really quick. If they have messages on them, because then, like, those look like symbols. So like the little girl's talking still while well, she's talking. You can hear that, right? So I grabbed everything. I don't really see anything else. The voice huh. is there again, but it's now quieter, and Taylor doesn't really hear it at first. The soft little voice seems to say, You're not my family. You're gonna die if you don't go. Wow. There are messages on them, because then, like, those look like symbols. Taylor collects many more strange drawings that are scattered around the area. But then the voice gets louder and says, I don't really see anything else. You like it? Later, she posts her video, and when she reads the viewer comments, she makes another shocking discovery. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time right now, but I saw this comment and I'm kind of hyperventilating, freaking out. This Wait, girl should... posted that she saw a f***ing child in my video. Yep, you should have. No one was with me, and tell me if you guys think that looks like a ghost child, because I don't I know. I see a face. But I didn't know if she photoshopped it or not, so I went to my videos and I screenshotted the exact part that she shows right there. And I see the face too. And so now I'm actually freaking the f out. I'm super terrified. I don't know what to do. I didn't see anyone or hear anything until that voice happened, but it just sounded like a You shouldn't have got you shouldn't have got so, it, bro. You shouldn't have got the app. I don't know. Can you, I don't know. You guys tell me what you see, but that right there looks like a fing face to me. I don't know. Now what do you think Taylor caught on camera? Is it real? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you Are think should be TikToks? included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. What's at the window? What is? CJ from the YouTube channel CJ Long Crow's Logs is exploring the abandoned and allegedly very haunted Crow Creek Reservation High School in Stephen, South Dakota. The school and the oh, land scratch of my nose. Zone has a very dark and creepy history. It's like whenever you sneeze so much, the like Catholic to the point where set like, up a boarding school for Native American, American children on this land, anything? and then basically forced the reservation children to try to avoid not picking at it.
From the day yeah, the shit is annoying as hell. The land seemed cursed. It's like I'm a sore on your tongue or something. Crops planted on the ground wouldn't grow. Random unexplained fires destroyed many of the buildings. And the schoolhouse was directly hit and almost wiped out by not one, but two different tornadoes. Wow. That's tornado. Each time, the Catholic Church would simply rebuild the boarding school on the same ground. One of the school's darker stories involves a nun named Sister Wilhelmina Kaufman. Oh. On January 12th, 1888, during a blizzard, the nun left the school building to go to the laundry house next door. Even though the buildings were very close together, she got lost in the blinding snow and couldn't find her way back to the school. Aww. The next morning, her body was found kneeling in the deep snow. She had frozen to death only 100 feet from the school's door. Wow. Cut to modern day. People who live near the Crow Creek Reservation High School report seeing many strange and frightening things. This ain't TikTok. It is said that the terrifying apparition of a nun can wow. be seen roaming the grounds. And some claim that they have seen dark shadow figures wandering the school's hallways. Uh. CJ Longcrow happens to have a friend that lives on the Crow Creek Reservation, right next to the allegedly haunted school. Wow. So not only was CJ able to explore the abandoned building, but he spent the entire night right beside the creepy school grounds. Wow. So early in the night, CJ and his friends head out to explore the school. They find some strange graffiti on the walls. And even more bizarre, a floor full of dead birds. Ugh. Holy f What is that? Those are dead birds? But even more alarming are the aggressive dead living birds and bats birds. that have made their home inside the abandoned school. <laughs> Sounds like something moved down there. Here, let's, go, let's do this one first. Oh, it's a bird, dude. Oh, it's a fucking owl. It's a fucking bird. Oh, an owl. Like, the higher we got up, like, it seems like that's... Oh, f***. <laughs> 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 Bro, we just want to get by. F***ing birds on crack, dog. Oh. Ah, shit! <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> After a few angry bird and bat attacks, the guys decide to finish up their exploration and just exit the school. What? But the creepy story doesn't end there. Let's say that you catch something. Now, as I mentioned before, CJ is sleeping no, overnight in a house that is right next to the abandoned school building. So late that night, while his friends are sleeping, he decides to take a walk around the haunted school grounds. By yourself, though, dog. It didn't go well. I bet everyone else is asleep. So. By yourself, though, dog. Ah, uh, dude, like, it's so creepy out here, because I heard so many f***ing stories, like, just so many stories of f***ing, like, I just, I just can't. <laughs> but, it is pretty f***ing creepy out here, though, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, I mean, just look at this building. Oh, f***. What? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> CJ spots some shadowy figure walking by the abandoned school's third story window. He freaks out and runs inside to wake up his friend Phil, asking him to join him to go check out the strange shadow. When they reach the third floor window where CJ saw the figure, what they find is truly bizarre. Okay guys, so this is exactly... Exactly. Where could I have gone, though? It's exactly where the f I saw it. Oh. I don't see inside there. Custodian? Closet? Yeah. Maybe... Uh... Now, even though the shadow that CJ saw seems to appear from one side and walk quickly past the window... It's not like a nun! There's just nowhere to walk. It looks like a nun. There's a concrete know? wall on one side of the window and a tiny empty janitor's closet on the other. So where did the shape go? Did CJ Longcrow see one of the strange shadow apparitions that are said to haunt the Crow Creek High School? You decide. Wow. You can check out CJ's full exploration video over on his YouTube channel, CJ Longcrow's Logs. During act. Reddit user Edgy Christendom says that he and his girlfriend were exploring an abandoned mental asylum in Baltimore, Maryland. When this happens. 
Yo, this fucking place is crazy, bro. Oh, mom's. What? Where are you going? I swear I just seen something. Alright, dude, I'm missing it. Bro, what the <laughs> He turns just in time to catch a dark figure moving oh. through the doors. But when he follows, there's no one there. Edgy Christendom doesn't necessarily claim that the video is anything supernatural. And he says that it could have simply been a homeless person living in the building. Mm -hmm, but that's if this was a person, then where did they go? Let me know what you think. Camp Nowhere. The popular YouTube Urbex channel Exploring with Josh travels to what is rumored to be an abandoned summer camp in the Catskill Mountains of southeastern New York. The remains of the camp are in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods. Josh and his friends explore the mysterious site and I discover that it was a former religious summer camp go for children. Bit, but, uh, Turns out, the religious camp was built yeah. in the 1950s and operated for at least 15 years before being abandoned for unknown reasons. As Josh and his friends enter one of the decaying buildings on the property, they find a strange surprise. Yo, what? What the hell? This is creepy. Yo. <laughs> This is a fine. <laughs> what the hell is that? For the real? hell? Arts and crafts? What the heck? Who did that? Even explorers did it or it was just stuff like this? Either satanic ritual cult people or maybe explorers? I don't know, guys. This is freaking creepy. Look at this. Dude, who really holding all this up? Kind of cool. I like it. Mm. Dude, someone hang off, was hanging out masks up there. So these are, these are, um. The hell is that? That looks like the ring one. The grudge or the ring? Tell me not. <laughs> yeah, on the calendar it says 2001, so unless this place went abandoned in 2001, this is our only wow. moment of like any sort of uh, timeline. The calendar on the wall dates all the way back to March 2001, so the camp has likely been abandoned for over 19 years. Damn. Josh splits off from his friends who are taking pictures of the abandoned buildings. While exploring alone, he finds a broken down RV. He goes inside to take a look and accidentally captures something chilling. <laughs> Jeez. Well, there's nothing in here. Oh, you see that? Right in the back. You see the hand up there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've seen enough. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, Josh didn't either. But soon after he enters the RV, a mysterious small hand can be seen hitting the skylight on the roof. Now, Josh didn't notice the unexplained little hand. But when he posted his video to YouTube, his viewers were shocked. Some of them think that this could be the ghost of one of the children that stayed at the camp long ago. But Ooh. what do you think? Is this a ghost accidentally caught on camera? are simply one of Josh's friends messing around. And if it is one of his friends, they certainly have tiny little hands. <laughs> Could be a girl. Watch your step. Alright, you guys, I'm going to stop it right there. Um, I got to go. Um, thank you, though, for watching this. Uh, watch Moses with me. Um, yeah. People, lock your doors. Stop going out at night by yourself. It doesn't make sense. Just, just... Believe that it's there and leave it alone. I wouldn't even try to go to it because there's a chance I'm not coming back. There's also a chance that if I do come back, it's going to follow me back, and I don't want that. So please protect yourself out there. That's all I'm saying. But uh, if, you guys like my, if you guys like my reaction, uh, do me a favor. Hit that like button below. Hit that subscribe button below. And hit that bell for notifications for me, and they will come to you. Thank you, Nuke, for another top-quality video. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace out.